guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be filming my April favorites and I have a bunch of new products to share with you guys, so I'm just going to jump right into the video. So the first few things that I have are actually skincare, and I've been trying out a lot of new skincare this month, and one of the things that I like is a little trio, and it is from MAC. It is the MAC Lightful C Cleansing Line. And before you pass any judgment, because this is MAC skincare, and I know MAC is kind of notorious for breaking people out with their foundations. I've never broken out with any of their foundations, but it seems to me because of that, MAC really isn't looked at as serious skincare or like respectable skincare, but they have totally proved me wrong with this line. I am in love with every product from the MAC Lightful C line. It is amazing. Now, each of these products obviously have a lot of vitamin C in them, and they help with brightening and radiance and fading dark spots on your face and I struggle with all three of those things so the first thing that I was really interested in was the MAC um, toner the toner from the Lightful C line and it just smells so good the scent of all of these products are really really good um, just smells so like fresh and bright I don't know it just smells very very good I use my toners as a makeup remover no matter what toner it is I always use it as kind of like a makeup remover and what I'll do is when I come home I'll take my eye makeup off and then pour a little bit of this on a cotton pad and go ahead and like swipe it on my face just to get the bulk of my foundation and bronzer and blush like that first thick layer off and then I'll go and cleanse my face and I'll use the MAC Lightful C Cleanser. Now this is very, very good. You do like squeaky clean, like like legit squeaky clean where I feel like I can like uh, uh, on my face. Like I really, really like it. And then I go in with the serum, the MAC Lightful C Essence, which I have talked about a bunch of times on my channel as well. I use it in my skincare, getting ready with me. Um, really love this stuff. I'm already out. This bottle is practically empty. I'm going to try to get a few more pumps of this tonight. Um, but I really like it. It's a great serum. It's great to put on before the rest of your skincare. So I'm loving these three as a little trio. I like using the cleanser in the morning. And I'll show you my nighttime cleanser that I have been loving. It is another one of my favorites. It is the new Glam Glow Power Cleanse Daily Dual Cleanser. Oh my god, I, if you've watched any of my videos, you know Power Mud is my favorite out of all of the Glam Glow masks. I just love it. I love the scent. I love what it does for my skin. I'm, I just really, really like it. And, um, when they started coming out, when Glam Glow started releasing the cleansers, I was like, they need to come out with a Power Mud because that will be mine. I'm gonna love it. I cannot wait to get it. And during the last day of the VIB sale, this was actually released on the Sephora website. And I was like, oh, this is meant to be. I'm getting it. I got it for 15% off, and I really, really like it. But again, I love Power Mud, and this is kind of the exact same thing, just in a cleansing version. This actually comes with, like, a um, like two little pumps. So you pump some mud, and then you pump some oil into your palm, mix it all around, put it on your face, wet it, and, like, cleanse. It's just really, really nice. It leaves your face feeling very clean. The smell is very very nice and I really like it. my next favorite is the Foreo Luna mini I bought this during the Sephora VIB sale as well and this was definitely a splurge item for me this retails for about 140 regularly granted I did get it off with a percentage off with the Sephora VIB coupon but it was still very expensive and this to me was just like a little gift to myself um, I've been trying to take a lot better care of my skin and I have been I feel like it's been working I rarely get breakouts anymore, well, bad breakouts, like I used to, I used to get like clusters and like cystic acne, and I know it was just because I wasn't taking um, the best care of my skin. So I have been, and I wanted to get this, and it's just a little, a little tool just to help you cleanse your face, something a little extra more than your hands. Um, I've really, really been loving this. It works, it's just cute, it just vibrates a little, you press it on, it lights up on the bottom to let you know it's on, it vibrates, you use it, foams everything up, you press it once more, it lights up again, and it goes a little softer for around your eye area, for your delicate eye area, and then you press it again and it turns off. I like it. It's not necessity for your skincare. Don't feel like you have to go out and get it. But if you just want to treat yourself a little bit like I did, um, I really like it and I have really, really been enjoying it this month. The next product that I want to mention is also from the MAC Lightful C line, but this is a makeup product. This is the MAC Lightful C Tinted Cream with SPF 30. Now this essentially is just a tinted moisturizer and it has SPF in it, so it's perfect for the summer. And the reason I like this is just because 
I don't know, I feel like it's very lightweight and breathable on my skin, but it still offers good coverage like a regular liquid foundation. But it just lets my skin breathe a little more, so I really like it. I'm in the shade medium, which is perfect for me for the spring and the summer, so... Yeah, like this MAC Lightful C Tinted Cream. Products that I have been dying over are two Kevin Aquan products, super fancy. And they are both the Celestial Candlelight products. This one is the Celestial Powder in Candlelight, and this is the Celestial Skin Liquid Lighting in Candlelight. So they are both like the same color candlelight, a nice kind of pearlescent goldy beige color. Um, but obviously this one's a powder and this one is a liquid. So this little highlight right here, I really like using, not as your traditional highlight just on the high points of my cheekbone, but all over on the high points of my face. I'll take it on this little Sonia Kasha kind of like tapered blush brush. I'll take some of it and I'll put it on the high points of my face, including my cheekbones, down the center of my nose, on my forehead, and on my chin, and kind of use it almost like a setting powder, like you would like with a yellowy powder, like a banana powder and highlight in that way with this because it offers like such a nice subtle glow I feel like it gives you just that a nice subtle glow to the center of your face and gives you like that ethereal highlight and I really really like using it the liquid illuminator on the other hand is bomb it is so good I've been mixing it with every single foundation I wear I've mixed it with this I kind of use it as a primer and mix it I recently with bought the cover effects custom cover drops and have been mixing those with this and like stirring it up and using that on my face as foundation and I want to do like an updated foundation routine well I've actually never done a foundation routine on my channel so I might do a foundation routine using these two products the custom drops and this because that combo is giving me life in prison it is so good it leaves you so glowy and full coverage and just amazing so I'm not gonna talk about that too much I'll make a video on it but yeah I love these two products for different reasons they are both a bomb another face product I want to mention is the Laura Mercier all over translucent setting powder this is very very good it caught me by surprise just because I don't really like setting powders I have dry skin and all the setting powders I have ever tried have left me looking very dry and very like white casty like I feel like even though they're translucent they leave me looking like ghostly and like ancient I don't know it just is really bad I don't know if it's just because of the dry skin that I have whatever so I've really strayed away from setting powders in general um, but I saw a lot of people raving about this and using this in tutorials and routines and everything so I just figured that I would give it a try. I use it with this brush right here which I want to give a mention to as well. This is from my Sonia Kashuk um, spring makeup brush set and it's just a big fluffy brush but it's kind of flat so what I do is I'll take some of the Laura Mercier powder tap it in there and then I can just lay the brush on my face and get that powder on my face without kind of disturbing the foundation underneath it leaves your skin very nice it sets your makeup very nice but i feel like it doesn't change my foundation i usually wear luminous radiant foundations and putting a setting powder on top i feel like doesn't um take away any of that luminosity so i really really like it it's very very good doesn't leave me ashy or white cast or looking like a dry person i don't know it just it's very very good and i'm happy that i picked this up i've been using this every day this month my next favorite which i am the most excited about in this whole video is my hourglass ambient lighting bronzer and i have mines in luminous bronze light and this my friends is the most amazing bronzer i have ever tried in my entire life I know that sounds dramatic, but it really is. This gives you the most beautiful, radiant, warm, luminous, J-Lo glow that you will ever have in your life. And I'm not exaggerating, this is so good. And I know the price is ridiculous. $50 is so ridiculous for a bronzer. Even me, like, I went to put it on my cart on Sephora.com and I was like, Vic really $50 like you're pushing it this is getting out of control you need to stop but I saw so many good reviews that I was like you know what I'm gonna purchase it and I'm gonna try it if I don't like it I'm returning it and that's that no ifs ands or buts I'm returning this I'm not keeping a $50 bronzer if it is not life-changing and it's life-changing it is so good I use it with a elf stipple I use bronze. it with this guy right here I just swirl it around and it just gives you a beautiful airbrush bronze I put it all over my forehead and my temples um, down my cheeks like before I contour and around my jawline 
even on the center of my nose just to give me like that sun-kissed look and it really does it makes you look like you've been on a Caribbean vacation like JLo's makeup artist really does your face as well like it just looks so good um yeah I have nothing but good things to say it's not a matte bronzer obviously it's not matte but it's not shimmery um you don't get any shimmers or glitters when you put it on your face or when you swatch it it's just luminous it's just radiant and luminous and when you swatch it it might look orange you might swatch it in store and be like what was that girl victoria talking about this is like super orange it is not pretty it's not don't worry about the swatch because this stuff when it sits on your face is amazing is incredible is everything that everybody's saying about it the next product that I want to give a little shout out to are the cocoa lashes in risque I always use my cocoa lashes in Misha those are my favorite ones I've mentioned that so much on my channel that those are my favorite lashes from Lady Moss Beauty I bought these at IMATS and Misha was all sold out so I picked these up because they kind of reminded me of Misha but they were a little thicker like a little more dramatic and dense and thicker they're what I have on my lashes right now that's why I'm only showing you the box um, but they're what I have on my lashes right now and they are very kind of like dramatic and thick but they're really really pretty and I've been loving them these are like the only lashes other than Misha that I have worn in so long and that is saying a lot because Misha like I literally buy like 10 at a time and will only wear those because I feel like they complement my eyes so well but these guys are really really pretty they're the same shape if you like your lashes to be kind of longer in the middle and more tapered at each end those are like these are those um I like my lashes that way I don't like them too flared out or um thick at the ends at the outer corner I feel like that makes my eyes look very sleepy and lazy so I like them to be kind of longer in the middle and these are just amazing. Um, Misha and Risqué are both very, very good if you're interested in cocoa lashes. My next two favorites are from the Dose of Colors Terra Collection. I've been seeing a lot of people mention these in their favorites as well, and they're just really, really good. Um, both of these colors are super pretty. I have them swatched already. Um, right here is the color Stone, which is this kind of mauve pink shade. And right next to it is the color Sand, which is a very 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 nude shade um these two on their own are very pretty i know a lot of people um were saying this one is too nude sand is too nude but if you just find a very nice complimentary lip liner and really line your lips and fill them in and then use this and blend everything nice um i think it's very very pretty and then stone is very pretty on its own as well blended these are really nice that's what I have on my lips right now I have both of these colors kind of blended I put sand all over my lips and then dotted stone and kind of um, blended everything up and I put lip gloss on top that's why it's not matte these are obviously matte li liquid lipsticks but I um, put lip gloss on top because my lips are extremely dry and matte anything on my lips is a nightmare for me both of these colors combined uh, on their own they're pretty I just put lip gloss on top and I love them so that was it for my April favorites I hope you guys enjoyed this video it is already May and I'm really excited because in three weeks it is my birthday um, even though I don't have anything planned I'm probably not gonna do anything but I'm so excited because May is my favorite month obviously and um, yeah I'm probably gonna get a new camera by the end of the month that'll be like my birthday gift to myself um, so then I can start filming better quality videos for you all. So yeah, if you like this video, just give it a thumbs up and subscribe and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye guys.